Now here we are seeing a problem on riveted joints. Let us see the problem. Find the efficiency of the following riveted joints. Single riveted lap joint of 6 mm plates with 20 mm diameter rivets having a pitch of 50 mm. Double riveted lap joint of 6 mm plates with 20 mm diameter rivets having a pitch of 65 mm. Take permissible tensile stress in plate 120 mega Pascal. Permissible shearing stress in rivets 90 mega Pascal. Permissible crushing stress in rivets 180 mega Pascal. Let us see the given data here. For single riveted joint, thickness of plates is given 6 mm. Let us take a symbol T. Diameter of the rivets D 20 mm. Pitch 50 mm. And for the double riveted joint also, thickness of the plate and diameter of the rivets is same but pitch is 65 mm here. And permissible tensile stress in the plates is given. Let us take sigma t as symbol 120 mega Pascal or 120 Newton per mm square. Permissible shearing stress in rivets tau 90 mega Pascal or 90 Newton per mm square. Permissible crushing stress in rivets sigma c 180 mega Pascal or 180 Newton per mm square. And we have to find the efficiency of this single riveted joint and double riveted joint. See here, efficiency of a riveted joint is defined as the ratio between least value of PT, PS and PC by P. So what is here PT? PT is the tearing resistance of the plate or pitch length and PS is the shearing resistance of rivets and PC is the crushing resistance of the rivet by P is the strength of the solid plate per pitch length. Solid, solid plate means without uh, making holes for the rivets. So this is the ratio and this ratio is defined as the efficiency of the riveted joint. So when you want to find out efficiency of a riveted joint, so we have to first of all find out what is the tearing resistance or tearing strength of the plate per pitch length and shear strength of rivet and crushing strength of the rivets per pitch length we have to find out here and also strength of solid plate we have to find. So let us find this in step by step procedure. So let us first of all find for single riveted joint tearing resistance of the plate per pitch length. So if you see this is the diagram showing the single riveted lap joint. So here this is the rivets arranged in a row and this is the center to center distance between two adjacent rivets is nothing but pitch and here so tearing resistance for plate of the plate per pitch length means so if you see a sectional view side sectional view and if you see like this so this is the pitch length and here we have holes for rivets and this is the diameter of the rivet and this is the thickness of the plate so we require here tearing resistance of the plate or pitch length. So what is this tearing resistance means? So when you apply load here, some kind of tensile load here, so this plate may uh, tear across this uh, row of the rivets or along this uh, row of the rivets, this plate may tear off, it may cut tear off. So we are calculating this uh, tearing resistance or tearing strength of this plate per pitch length after making the holes for the rivets. So if you see uh, this when you apply this load this is the area uh, which is resisting this force applied on the plates. So that area you know it will be a rectangular area and that area multiplied with uh, tensile strength of the plate if you do you will get the tearing resistance or tearing strength of the plate per pitch length. So if you see this is the length, which will become length and T will become breadth in this case. So when you multiply this, you will get area. So, but here you have a uh, half of the hole and half of the hole here in a pitch length. So if you make, if you add those two, you will get uh, one complete hole and that will, the length will become D. So here from the pitch, actually you have to remove D, a uh, distance or D length from the pitch to get the actual length of the plate per pitch length here. So this is the tearing resistance or tearing strength or tearing load carrying capacity you can 
say that you can write into permissible stress into area. Why? Because from the basic uh, 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 definition of the stress, you know, load by area. So here we require resist tearing resistance or allowable tearing load per pitch length. So you can uh, write allowable stress into area. So allowable stress is nothing but tensile stress only. So when you apply the load, so the stress comes into is nothing but tensile strength of the plate into picture. So uh, allowable tensile stress into area means this uh, will become P minus D will become length here and T is the thickness. So this will give the tearing resistance of the plate per pitch length. So this is the formula P minus D into T into sigma T. So P is given 50 D diameter of the rivets 20 and thickness 6 mm, thickness of the plate 6 mm, sigma T is given 120 mega Pascal or Newton per mm square. When you simplify you will get tearing resistance of the plate per pitch length as 21,600 Newtons. And next step we have to find out shearing resistance of the rivet. So if you see this diagram, suppose if you assume this is the top view and this may be the front view like that and the load is applied means the uh, rivet may fail like this because of the load applied the rivet may get sheared off at this section. So the applied load is uh, acting as a shearing load as uh, to the rivet. So the rivet may fail like this in the shear. So this is the area which is resisting this load that is pi by 4 d square. So since this load is acting as a shearing load for this rivet. So when you want to calculate shear strength or shearing resistance of the rivet. So there is nothing but area multiplied by the allowable stress. So pi by 4 d square into tau. Pi by 4 d square is given, uh, d is given 20 and tau is given 90. And when you simplify that you will get 28,278 Newtons. This is the shearing resistance of rivet and uh, crushing resistance of rivet. So PC, so what is this crushing resistance means? When you apply here, when you apply load on the plates, tensile load, some example. So the rivet, uh, the surface of the rivet, half of the surface of the rivet will apply compressive force on this half of the hole. And at the same time, this whole surface, uh, whole surface will apply compressive load or crushing load on the half surface of the rivet. So this is the area we are taking the compressive or crushing load uh, such that the uh, shape of the rivet or shape of the hole may be uh, destroyed. It may be uh, uh, it will convert into circular to some uh, ellipse shape because of the compressive load or crushing load. So that is nothing but it is a failure which is called crushing failure of the rivet. So if you want to get the area which is resisting the uh, crushing means it is a projected area here. So this is the D length will become uh, this D will become one dimension and uh, T will become one more dimension for this projected area and that is also rectangle. So when you want to get this resisting uh, crushing resistance area it is d into t so area multiplied by the allowable uh, stress is nothing but crushing stress so d is given t is given sigma c is given when you simplify that you will get 21600 newton so this shearing resistance and crushing resistance also we are calculating per pitch length and here we require strength of the solid plate per pitch length if you see this is a plate having thickness t and uh, if you take pitch, pitch length, solid plate means without or uh, before making the holes in the plate. So P means you will get uh, total solid length here without any holes. So P into T will become rectangle area per pitch length and sigma T is the tensile strength of the event. Why? Because when you apply the load here, tensile load here um, before making the holes. So, so this uh, P into T is the area which take the load and the developing uh, stress is nothing but tensile stress. So when you uh, take this area multiplied with the tensile stress, you will get the strength of the solid plate per pitch length. So this will be uh, pitch is 50 given thickness of the plate and allowable tensile stress for plate 120. You get 36,000 Newtons is the strength of the solid plate. So as a de um, by the definition of the efficiency of the joint, least value of PT, PS, PC that is tensile strength of the a tearing strength of the plate per pitch length, shear strength of the rivet or crushing strength of the rivet by strength of the solid plate. So what is the least of these three? So we have calculated PT 21,600, PS 28,000 something value and uh, 
PC also 21,600. So here PT and PC we got same thing and this is the least value. So this least value by strength of the solid plate per pitch length. So why because, so why we are taking least value of these three means. So when you apply any external load on these plates, so this external load is reaching the uh, the any uh, value, least value, so then failure will happen. So any kind of failure is nothing but failure of the joint. So when you apply the external load, so that load uh, is reaching the least value means at that value it will fail. So you can say that it is a failure of the joint. So uh, that's why strength of the joint is defined as the uh, least value of PT, PC, uh, comma, or PS or PC by P. So least of this any 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 one value least of these three PT or PS or PC here not and R and P is the strength of the solid plate. So least value is 21,600 by solid plate is 36,000 we got and if you simplify this you will get 60 percent 0.6 or 60 percent is the efficiency of the joint in the case of single divided joint. So when you take double divided joints tearing resistance per plate will become the same formula as discussed previous. So it is a tearing resistance of the plate. So the formula will be same but here which is given different value 65 uh, mm for double riveted joint. So D and T is same values. So when you uh, substitute those values here and when you simplify here we are getting PT as 32400 and shearing resistance of rivets per pitch length if you see here last case we have seen the formula as pi by 4 d square into tau is the shearing resistance of rivet but here per pitch length we have two rivets which, which are taking the load here so so but if you see you may feel uh, per pitch length uh, the previous case we may have per pitch length two rivets and in this case you may feel that you have pitch length four rivets not like that if you see here pitch length means from this center to center so center to center half rivet here also center to center half half plus half one and here one so here per pitch length you have two rivets so that n indicates the number of rows or number of rivets per pitch length and uh, this pi by 4 d square tau is the previous value that is a sharing uh, resistance of uh, or strength of the one rivet so here you have two rivets per pitch length so you will multiply with n so n indicates the number of rivets per pitch length so 2 into pi by 4 into d is 20 and tau is 90 and if you simplify that you will get 56,556 newtons and crushing resistance of the rivet per pitch length. Here also two rivets are there per pitch length. So when you take n into d into t sigma c is the previous formula only. So this is for one rivet and you have two rivets or n rivets that is nothing but two rivets or two rows of rivets. So per pitch length you have two rivets you will multiply with two so n is the number of rivets per pitch length which is taking the crushing loads and this is the crushing strength of a resistance of single rivet so when you do that you will get 43200 newtons and strength of the solid plate the same formula but here pitch is different that is 65 and t and sigma t same values and if you do that you are getting 46800 and efficiency of the joint same formula list of PT or P, S or PC by P. So here we are getting you see PT we are getting in this case 32,400 for double divided PS 56,556 and it is 43,000. So if you see the least value is PT only that is 32,400 and strength of the solid rate 46,800 and that will be 0 0.692 or it is 69.2 percentage for double limited lab joint. So for more videos please subscribe and activate bell symbol. Please like it, share it and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.